Hello everyone! Last time we spoke about the life of the Irvan and Kesogar before we arrived. Dalaran's destruction and the Nerubian's attack did not go unnoticed. In the distance, there's a massive explosion that's ringing out. The Irvan are not unfamiliar with the Nerubians, but it's been centuries since their last assault, and one of their sides on the Corway is quite the problem. So we fly out to help Bilgrim and his storm riders. The Corway. I have failed in my oath sworn duty. This time, they managed to destroy the Corway, the path leading further down below. A path that we need if we want to get to Zalatov, so it's time to get to work. They are retreating. Well executed, Outlander. Now, I believe you and your friends have much to discuss. May we brought the Nerubians here. No, the Nerubians were focused on the Corway. The attack was another part of Zalatath's scheme. So much chaos and destruction. We have to regroup. Has anyone seen Khadgar? No. We... will grieve him in time. But Thrall is right. Without reinforcements, we're at Zalatath's mercy. But no matter what she's planning, we must stop her. Jaina and I will rally the Alliance and the Horde. But it will take some time for us to sail back here. Right. In the meantime, we'll stay here and keep the survivors safe. You will. Not me. Illyria, we need your- No, you don't. I can't keep anyone safe, but I can hunt down Zalatath and make her pay. Ron Jaina teleport away to get us some much needed reinforcements. Magni and Enduin, they're both struggling with the wars within, so they discuss things over the drink, which leaves us with Moira to party with and her son Dagran, quite a bit grown up since before the war within. You might recall him staring up at you from his crib in Forge. He is a lot smarter now and loves exploring like his Uncle Bran, but he doesn't know the dangers that adventures can hold quite yet. Moira keeps an eye on him though, while we learn more on the urban history, their troubles with the machines and the archive shutting down, and the eventual rifts between their people. The Titans uplifted four wards. The Council Ward, the Storm Ward, the Stone Ward, and the High Speaker to keep the Edicts and build the Corway and its fortress, Dornigal. But the Titans left and the machines stopped. The Unbound abandoned the Edicts and the High Speaker retreated to the Ringing Deeps. And now the machine speakers are cut off from us and we have no means to fix the Corway. Then it seems long past time you stood united. We need to find this Edelgon, rebuild your Corway, and take care of the Nerubians once and for all. If this Edelgon can fix the Corway, we should seek her out. I'm willing to be a liaison, if you be willing to speak with her. You are correct. Stormward, new directive. Take them to Freywold Village. I... will comply. Follow me. Pilgrim and Edelgon haven't seen or spoken to each other for millennia. As her stepping away from the Edicts, it was seen as a great betrayal by the O-Swarm Pilgrim. However, Merrick's the Council Ward is a bit more flexible. It can see that we're going to need all the help that we can get to fix their core way. Personal directive. Prioritize the wounded. We cannot fight if, unidentified, another survivor from the crash? I'm Moira, of the Dark Iron and Bronzebeard. Balegrim. Stone Ward? I am not the Stone Ward, you know that. I know you abandoned your post. And you abandoned us. The Corway was attacked. 
It must be repaired. We were attacked too. You should have protected. <clears throat> I can see there is some uh, history between you. But if you haven't noticed, the Nerubians have you both in their sights. You need each other, age-old drama or not. This is a waste of cycles. I will go to the quarry myself. Then you'll be the first Storm Rider it's seen for centuries. Mine must have been hard for you to walk away. Yes, I was the Stone Ward. With the Stonebound, I built all of Dornigal, but I could not remain there. The Stonebound continued to mine and build and maintain. That was our edict. But after thousands of years, the Titans were silent, and yet we still built. My people wanted something more. Many began to drop their tools and leave for the wolds. I argued for them that we all should be able to choose. But Baalgrim was furious, and Merricks would not defy the Titans either. And so, I joined my people here. Uh, leaving all you know for what you think is right, that takes some courage. Or faulty programming. We are free, but we did choose to live unprotected. And now, my people suffer again. Well, I may be an outlander, but I think you are in the right. And these Oathsworn should be protecting you. Having a different opinion doesn't make you any less earthen. That is not Baelgrim's assessment. Well, let's hope you'll come around. For now, we can only help ourselves and get your people healed. Reconnecting is a bit tense, but our Moira knows a thing or two about bringing clans together. The Unbounds would love to help, but the Nerubians didn't spare them either. Zalatov had the Nerubians hit some key locations to stop us from going further. Some of the craftsmen had been taken away into the Earthcrawl mine, so while Bilgrim goes off to check on their mining operations, we join Bram Bronzebeard on our very first delve. Droger by the second! There's more to explore out there! And you know me! Can't resist a good cave! Keeper's beard! Quarry is overrun with Thungarians. And whose fault is that? Your edict is to protect the Isle, not just the city and not just the Oathsworn. Outlander, you gather the ore. Edelgon, how can I help? That's the first time you've asked that question. But you can start by helping the injured. The Irvin had been saved, and Bilgrim's eyes are a bit more open to what his stubbornness has accomplished. The Unbound are still his people, regardless if they stepped away from the edicts or not. As Bilgrim finally asks what they can do to help, we run off to gather some ore from the quarry overrun by the Fungarians. Their flesh will help heal the Irvin. Some of them are in such a bad shape that more aid is required. Bilgrim, your help is appreciated. You were right. I have been remiss in fulfilling my edict. Now the Corway lies in ruin. I need your help, Edelgon. Just like you needed mine. May all pass. She's fading. I... My Stormrook can take her to Dornigal. Perhaps the healers there can help. Pilgrim, thank you. Share your experience. Take one of the rams, Pilgrim. It's no storm rook, but it's faster than going on foot. I have never ridden one, but how difficult can it? Whoa there! I'll bring the Unbound to the Corway. We'll meet you in Dornagal. This time, the Nerubians attacked the Prosenium, a triage site where they were healing the injured. 
Once more into the fray. Once more our heroes take on the spidery foe. This time with the aid of explosive cinder brew. A fiery, potent brew enjoyed by all the earthen. I will crush you. <laughs> I will crush all of you. The Rubians, rise! Where is she? Where is Zalatath? She must suffer for what she has done. The core weighs severed. You will never reach the Harbinger. Huh? Hold on! Help is on the way! Find cover, quickly! They're retreating. Your cinder brew makes for quite the weapon, Wenbrand. Meet us at the Foundation Hall, champion. The fight against the Nerubians is far from over. The Irvins stand together and are ready to work on fixing the Corway. But knowing the Nerubians as they do, they'll see our backs turned and our attention focused elsewhere as the perfect moment to strike. Bilgrim has us join him to their rookery to rally their storm riders and set up a perimeter. Yet again, Zalatov is one step ahead. Before us stands the Storm Perch, Outlander. It is the command center and rookery for all storm riders. This is highly irregular. Why are these storm rooks tethered here? Thank the Titans you are here. The Storm Perch has been breached and the Storm Riders corrupted. Hurry! If we free these Storm Rooks, we can fly there and try to end this madness. Outlander, with me. The Rookery has been infected by the Void, corrupting those inside and turning their edicts into far darker versions like murder everybody. Goran, Bilgrim's second in command, was left in charge. But again, we can see that these are not emotionless robots. The Void might play upon their darkest parts, but those parts are in there, like Goran's jealousy towards Bilgrim and believing that he should have had the title, the glory, the role of Stormwards. We managed to clear out the Rookery, even the grotesque amalgamation of corrupted Stormriders. But Zalatov still wins, as now nearly their entire order has been wiped out. The Storm Riders, comparable to the Wildhammer Griffin Riders, they can't protect Dornagal now. We only have a handful of peacekeepers left, so we stand no chance if the Nerubians would strike us here. Best to use Illyria as bait and lure them away, make a weapon of our own and capture Xerix in it. With Illyria drawing their attention, we prepare to blow up the Cinderbrew stock and take out a whole bunch of the Nerubians. No! They severed all of the fuses! Stay focused. These monsters cannot leave here alive. Stubborn Earth! You will not impede my ascension! Outlander! The fuses! We can't ignite the kegs! I must fulfill my edict. What? Forget the edicts! I cannot. That is why it must be me. You must guide the Earthen. Balgrim! One last ride, then you are free. My directive is to protect this isle and the earthen. All the earthen. <laughs> Glory to the Titans! Long live the earthen! But he's gone. Go. I. The Corway's repairs must continue. It's what Balgrim would have wanted. Tell me what has happened. Council Ward, we. 
We have bad news. We have repelled the Nerubians, but Balegrim is gone. I see. So he fulfilled his edict. Not just that. He defended the Earthen, both the Oathsworn and the Unbound. More than anything, he wanted us to stand together again. Then we will honor his memory by doing so. It will take time to fully repair the Corway, but the Outlanders can descend to the Ringing Deeps. The Earthen of the Isle of Dorne will support their endeavor, no matter what the Edicts say. If we can bring the Machine Speakers back into the fold as well, then the Council will truly stand complete. Thank you, Council Ward. Now, let's clear the last of that rubble.